Hello, YouTube. I'm in bed again, just so you all know. I'm very lazy, as we can tell. Okay, but I promised you guys... No, I need to go like this. I promised you guys that I would film the video um, about surgery and about going into surgery and blah, 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 blah. So that's what this video is going to be about. I promised it, so I will deliver. So let's just get right into it, shall we? So to start off with, um, I got my surgery with Dr. Brassard in Montreal and the surgery was covered by OHIP, which is the Ontario Health Insurance Plan, I'm pretty sure. So I had to go through a whole bunch of processing for that to get approved for OHIP and then to get on the list and then waiting and blah, 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 blah. So if you guys want a video about the, the precursor and to all of it, let me know and I'll do that. But this is strictly about um, like the days before surgery and after. So um, we took a train down to Montreal. For those of you who don't know, I live in Ottawa, Ontario. So we took the train to Montreal and part of the arrangement for getting the surgery is um, staying in the bed and breakfast two days before. So I got there and I think everyone else was out and um, like they were out doing things during the day. So my mom and I went to our room. It was a beautiful room. The rooms are so pretty there and the bed and breakfast is beautiful. The whole entire house is amazing and the staff there are such sweet people. So uh, that was a great place to be because it was just very calming and feeling. Hello, Bill. So Hi. we have arrived. It's our... We've arrived at the bed and breakfast. The bed, bed and breakfast at the Medico, which is a very, very nice little charming beautiful. place. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So and we've met uh, Chantal, our host. She's a very sweet, kind lady. Yes. So how was your train drive here? Um, <laughs> boring, I guess. Okay. But and now that you're on to your next step, then... Mm -hmm. So today is Monday, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's Wednesday. So tomorrow is basically... Pre-op day. Um. Yes, we're going to go on a little tour tomorrow. We'll take the metro downtown. Just to kind of get your mind off of the fact that That's tomorrow at 4 o'clock, you get to do a lovely enema. little enema. And um, uh, to clean out your bowels. your bowels. The day before my surgery, I think I had to do two enema fleets, or fleet enemas. Fleet, I think it's called a fleet enema. But it's basically where you stick um, this thing up your butt and you squeeze it and it just empties your bowels. And if there's one thing I can say about the whole entire surgery experience, um, that was the worst. The fleet enema was the worst. The surgery wasn't even bad. It was the damn enema. That felt like you were shitting out fire. It felt like you were shitting out lava. And it, oh my God, it was just, it was so painful and it felt like your butt was on fire. Not even joking. Like you guys wanted me to be honest. I'm being honest. It felt like your butt was on fire. It felt like your insides were just like melting and like pouring out of your butthole. It was not fun. And then, um, you had to shave the pubic area, um, inside. So like you have to shave the front. And then where the penis is and the testicles are, you have to shave around that. You have to shave the testicles and you have to shave the anus. Um, so I did all that and then I went to bed. And I was arranged to be picked up at 7 a.m. by the people for the surgery. So I woke up at like 6 and I wasn't even nervous. There was no nerves in me. I was just like, all right, we doing it. Cool beans. So I got picked up with my mom and we went to the surgeon's office and that is, so yeah, you stay in the bed and breakfast, but then you get driven there and it's an outpatient or it's like a private practice. It's like a special facility. It's not in a hospital. It's actually right near a prison, which is like awesome. And I went in there, did some paperwork, got um, just all settled in. This is not a picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm how are just, you feeling? Oh, I'm excited for you. I'm just waiting for you. Where do I look in this camera? Okay. Right there. Okay. Just very excited. Very excited for you. I can't wait. I want this to be done and over with. I know. I just want to go to bed so I can wake up and eat goldfish. 
That's well, the only thing I'm thinking of. It just makes me happy when I saw all the other girls and how well they were doing. So I'm excited about that. It's nice. I'm tired. Ew. And I was waiting for my surgeon um, to call me up. And I got my surgery around like 10, 11. So when that happened, um, I, was, I wasn't nervous. I was literally on my laptop listening to Alicia Keys. There was no nerves in me. And I got called up. I went up there, um, sat in the room, talked to the anesthesia, anesthe an I can't say the word. They put you to sleep, That those people. I talked to them and then my doctor came in, my surgeon came in and I talked to him and he just was like, do you have any questions? And I was like, no, I don't have any questions and just let's do it. And he, uh, he did an examination real quick just to see what he was working with. And he was like, okay, we're good. No skin grafts here. So <laughs> just saying. Uh, and then I went into the surgery room and they did a spinal anesthesia, which was really interesting. I, that was a whole, I felt so drunk when they gave me that. I was like, oh my God. And all I remember was like laying down because they were like, okay, girl, you need to lay down, open your legs up. I felt like I was giving birth, but I was not giving birth. I was getting rid of my dick. It was a whole nother story. So I, all I remember is like white, like clouded around me and it's weird. And then I woke up and I have footage from when I woke up. My mom took footage. So I'll insert that here and you guys can see that. Hi, this is Belle. She's... And that's the MRI machine next door. No, it's not. They're doing construction. Because a year ago, they tried to burn down this hospital. So they've been renovating it since then. And so Belle's back. She's been back for about uh, five minutes. I woke up during surgery. She had a spinal. Oh, like me when I, 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 I saw surgery. I had spinal block. And then it was during the surgery. And I felt them tugging on stuff. And I was like, screw it. I don't care. That would have been that appendage between your legs that you no longer I've have. I've woken up in all my surgeries and it freaks out the doctors. And, and then I woke up at the end and they were like, okay, gap it again. Your surgery's done. And I was like, where are my goldfish? I had to wait an hour. I know. I'll make sure nobody is And then my legs are still frozen, but you know, Dr. Broussard told me. Mm -hmm. They're trying out a new pain thing. Okay. So. And what's the, the new pain thing? The effects of the anesthesia last longer. Oh, yes, they do. Mm. Spinal's definitely better. You recover faster from a spinal. All I could think about right now is going to see Lady Gaga. Okay. What would you like to tell your. Uh, what would you like to. Besides from Lady Gaga, what else would you like to say? I wasn't nervous. Good. Like, not one bit of me was nervous. So you went into surgery at quarter to ten. Yeah. And then you waited an hour and then you went into the operating room. You walked into the operating room? Wow. And then you came back on a stretcher. Say goodbye to your fans for now. I love you. Um, and basically, when I woke up, I was really out of it, but I requested one thing for my dad when I woke up, and it was goldfish. And I woke up to goldfish, and I was very happy. So uh, basically, the couple days that you're in the hospital is just them taking out, uh, them draining your pee bag, them draining the Jackson Clef, which is a blood tube um, that is inserted into you. Oh my god, thinking about it makes me want to puke. One moment that is really awesome was the day, I think it was the day after. Or it was the night of, I forget, but it was walking. And it was my first time walking since my surgery. And it was like an amazing moment. So like whenever I think about that, I'm just like blown away because the fact that I could walk that soon after 
was insane. Um, but I'll insert that footage here. Yeah, I thought that you're allowed to be in So they um, took me from my room in the hospital and brought me to the, uh, the house behind it where the girls recover from surgery and the guys who recover from their surgery. They brought me there and I got set up into my room and it was really, really cute there. And that's basically where you learn about cleaning your vagina, dilating, uh, and just recovering. And oh my God, let me tell you, that was a whole thing in itself. I, you, oh my God, you wake up and you have, um, it's basically like a condom filled with gauze shoved up your vagina to keep it from closing then that's sewn shut and then you have gauze sewn onto you to collect the blood it literally feels like you have a dolphin inside you i don't know a lot of people say it's like the worst pain they've ever been in my appendix was the worst pain i've ever been in basically like the timeline of when you're in that home is you get you're packing removed then you get the stitches removed uh, like the sutures that are kind of sewing up your vagina and then you get the stent removed and then you get the catheter removed and that all happens in a period of days so like one day you do one thing next day you do the next thing next next last thing you get removed is your catheter out of all the things that you get removed I would say that the sutures or the catheter are the most uncomfortable. They're not painful, they're weird. Dilating is not weird. Everyone asks me what dilating feels like and honestly, dilating just feels like you're shoving a plastic dildo up your vagina. That's literally what it is, that's what it feels like. Um, the surgery was a great experience. It was not that hard. I could walk, there was bleeding obviously, but it went away. Um, Painkillers will be your best friend, I will say. And if there's one thing that I can advise everybody going to the surgery is just like make sure you have some type of support system. So even if you, your family doesn't support you, become friends with the people that are there. Become friends with the people that you're getting your surgery with. It's very important that you do. So if you guys want me to talk about post-op life and um, dilating now and clitoral sensation and, and orgasms and all this stuff, let me know and I'll make a video about that. But if you want me to talk about complications, if you want me to talk about um, like really post-op, like the weeks and months after I got my surgery, let me know because those are like completely separate things because there's the pre-life and then the days of surgery and week after and then there's like actually after surgery and like anything like that. So I think I will make a video about that stuff, but that'll be later. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, peace, love, and vaginas. Toodles.